here at the Natural History Museum, and it's a great time of year. Festive fun everywhere. The place is packed with people coming in to see what we've got. This is mistletoe. This is a parasitic plant. It's, it's a hemiparasite. It makes some of its own food. You can tell that because it's got these lovely green chlorophyll filled leaves. So you can use the light to, to make some resources. It's stuck up a tree and therefore it needs to pull all of its water and other nutrients through from the host. It looks like a big green bird's nest and the birds try to eat the seeds but the outer layer of the seed is really sticky and unpalatable and therefore the birds don't easily swallow the seeds, they get stuck to their beaks and they try to sort of wipe them off on the bark of, of other trees that they land in and also dislodge the seed and stick it just where it's going to germinate and grow into a, a new plant. People look for symbolism and the fertile berries of the mistletoe being very similar to parts of the male body. This plant has become associated with fertility, not least because it's so lush and green through the winter months. So we hang it up in our houses and we kiss under it, a, a tradition which has largely dated from the last couple of hundred years, but one which is obviously very, very popular. And when a couple meet under the mistletoe, they then kiss, pluck a berry, and when all the berries are gone, sadly, the kissing ceases. Come the end of Christmas, you're taking the decorations down, take down the sprigs of mistletoe, why not leave them out in the garden for a little while, let the berries ripen a little more, and then you could try to grow your own. Take it to, to one of the trees it prefers, to like an apple, or a poplar, or a lime, or even an oak. Just make a small incision in one of the thinner branches that you can reach, and smear the seed in. And it will glue itself in, and hopefully germinate within a, a month or two. And within a few years, you should get a lovely big plant like this, covered in berries, that will make a wonderful adornment for the house again. It really makes Christmas time. And let's face it, Christmas is just such a fantastic time for us all. I'm really going to enjoy it. I hope you do too with your mistletoe.